Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Today we paint the wing part of this vampire lord. I painted the red armor and the loincloth in a separate video. The link is on top. Now let's collect the paints that we might use for the painting of this model. German Camo Medium Brown is a great color by the way. Today's video is all about the glaze medium, why it's not better but different than just using water and mediums in general and the glazing technique. In this video, I'll share with you my top 5 of why you should use the glaze medium or medium in general. Number 1, glaze medium or mediums adds transparency to the paints. Glaze medium adds transparency to the paints. By saying that, do not use transparent colors with mediums or inks and washes because, well, it's a waste of time. Unless you really want very subtle effects or very subtle transitions, Adding mediums to transparent paints while mediums add transparency to the paints doesn't really sound logical to me. <laughs> I hope I gave you a fair warning. Using transparent paints plus mediums will make you paint a model for a week. Don't get me wrong, I love mediums but use them with proper paints. So basically, water adds surface tension. I'm not, let's not be sciencey about it because I'm not a chemist, my mom is, but water adds surface tension. So what surface tension? Surface tension is basically water resisting to go flat on a surface because of its atoms and stuff like that. So it also tends to go along the crevices and details so it doesn't filter a model effectively. So number two, if you really want to add color to the model, especially if you have the undercoat already, make sure you use medium so that you effectively and efficiently add very subtle color with the medium plus paint. Nothing beats water of course. So basically water will give more flow to your paint. It's perfect for like thinning down the paint, although I prefer using thinner. So. Water is very important, but glaze medium or mediums in general give a different like feel when applying it with paint. Unlike thin down paint, thin down with water, the paints won't have the tendency to go to the crevices and fill up those details. Paint plus medium will practically filter and effectively filter or add color to the model. You will see all throughout the video that I have a separate pool of paint that has more medium which is basically my blending color and also to test if the color is great over the previous color. Needless to say, I love my glaze mediums or my mediums. I even have this, which is really big. It's for fine arts. It's Vallejo fine arts range for painting over canvas and stuff like that. Um, it's important to note that this is not sponsored. Normally, we could paint the edges with my detail brush and it will look impressive on video. But let's dry brush. Dry brushing is the king of all techniques and it's the fastest way to bring back all the details and highlight the raised areas of the model. And once we apply paint plus medium over the dry brushed areas, it's going to smoothen out our dry brushing. Now I'm going to use skin wash. Since I want the skin wash to go along the crevices and details of the model, I'm adding water. Basically, the skin wash is just to blend both colors together, the red and the blue, so that they look like more 
natural in terms of the gradation and stuff. Number three reason why you should use the glaze medium is because it will give more contrast in a subtle way but not too subtle. Thus, they call it contrast paints. No, 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 I'm not making fun of contrast paints. Contrast paints, in my observation, because I have a handful, is basically paints plus mediums. Contrast paints are great, but I can't use them. So, it's a matter of just using mediums with paints. It's practically the same. So, mediums plus paint are very subtle, but not as subtle as washes. So, you're not wasting your time in terms of building up nice shadows with the mediums plus paint. I think if you've seen my other videos, you'll realize that I'm not a big fan of washes. Washes are great, but I prefer my inks and my mediums. Top 4 in our list of why you should use the medium or the glaze medium is because they add a nice flow to the paint. We all know that keeping the consistency of paint for detail painting and edge highlighting is kinda tricky, but the wet palette will help in that regard and the glaze medium will help so much more. Okay, the pale skin from Nocturna is kinda too gray. It's warm gray but it's too dark. So we're using wolf gray now to add more highlights. So our top 4 reason why you should use glaze medium is practically it adds a nice flow to the paint and also it will keep the paint plus medium consistent for edge highlighting and highlights. Also, since the medium will add transparency to our highlight color, the uh, contrast of the highlight color over the base color won't be like too drastic, giving you nice transition even if you're doing highlights. Now your highlighting will look like very subtle pro work, but basically just added mediums. Now we use a lighter skin highlight color. I added medium of course. This will be perfect to blend everything together because we have the blue color and the pink color and we'll do a fleshy like highlight over all the wing part. This will tie down everything together. Now so since we are in the topic of glazing or glaze medium, let's use some flow paints. So the flow paints is our like sort of top 5 why you should do glazing but glaze with the proper paints and the proper mediums not with water. So the flow colors are very vibrant colors but it will take around 5 to 6 even 7 layers before you could get a really good solid coverage. So you don't really need to add medium unless you want to waste time. One to two coats of flow colors will add a very nice vibrant finish to our model. But the problem with flow colors, they're shiny. So let's give the model a quick matte varnish so that we could see the effect. So that's it, we're done. I hope you like saw that mediums are great. They add transparency, they add flow to the paint, they have less surface tension, and they are very subtle yet not subtle enough. So they're perfect for contrast, for adding contrast. I might add a few more highlights, layers of highlights and shadows to like give a really nice pop to the wings but I won't record it on camera. It will look impressive though but this is done for now. Next video we will paint this last god by dark gods and finish it up on camera. We will basically compare inks versus washes in the next video. That's it. I hope you liked the video today. 
do like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and do consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos! Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. I'm an affiliate painter for Redgrass Games and also the head mecha and sci-fi painter for Vallejo Colors. I write painting articles for Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. I also write articles for Fantasy Figures International Magazine. Lastly, if you're into Gunpla, do use my discount code for usagundamstore.com. Links down below.